I think for uh, you know a lot of athletes, and that means it doesn't just mean professional athletes. It means people who are active, because I believe that we're all athletes. Um, as you as you go through life and you you're you become a little older, I think you start trying to find ways to train very hard, but a little easier on your body, and so you know it was very easy because for example living with Laird and Laird having a real love for the water um, we put a very large pool with the idea of using water no gravity um, and ways to be dynamic or ballistic in the water so um, the pool training was a way where you could do things that would normally on land be very hard on your joints um, and allow you to improve in your performance without hurting you. So for example, um, Joe Kim Noah, basketball, you know, they're just jumping, jumping, jumping. So if in your training you're using jumping on land, you're just beating yourself up. So it's a way to make the game better, but not, you know, hurt the body. Uh, Kelly Slater came to the house one day, and I actually think there was surf. So Laird wasn't there, so I ran him through the pool training. So a couple ideas about the pool training is you're in compression. So, you know, people are always, when they're biking and doing things, they're wearing compression now, right? So they're not as sore. So by nature, you're already in a, in a compressed environment. One, two, um, it's a supported environment. So you can do things with your spine, with your joints, in a supported way that you can't do on land. So, um, and for some, an athlete like Kelly, uh, breathing, lung capacity, ways to improve your ability to be under the water longer, but relaxed. So the pool provides a lot of positive environments. So for jumping athletes, for athletes in the ocean or the sea of any kind, swimmers, um, it's a very interesting environment to train. For me personally, from volleyball, I actually got a fake knee. I have a knee replacement. But I could jump for many years in the pool that I couldn't do on land. Oftentimes, if people see the training we do, it's in very deep water. But it's, it's not necessary. You could go in very sh shallow water and still get a lot of benefits. And um, whether you're 20 or 80 years old, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's the idea of using the water environment other than swimming. Because swimming is good. I like swimming. But for some people, it's very boring, it's slow. And also, you still, when you age, you want to train with resistance. You want to have that resistance on the body, on the bones, um, to keep your muscles, to stay powerful, posture. Um, so the water, I think, is a, is a really uh, powerful tool to help people train longer and safer.